What's up, fellow gun enthusiast? Greg Rowe with Rowe Show Tactical. And in today's video, I'm going to be giving you a product review. And today, we're going to be reviewing the clipped holster from Blade Tech. Uh, I received this from Blade Tech. It is an appendix inside the waistband holster. Um, comes in this little pouch here. Get this open. This is the product itself. Um, it's not it's not Kydex. It's uh, more of like a molded molded plastic. Um, and you can see here it's got pretty pretty nice retention on that on that clip. It's got a little eye hole here. I'm not really sure. I think that's probably just just for looks. Um, see right there it does have um, an extended opening here um, in case you have um, you know some true glows or you have some of the higher um, night sights on your pistol that it should it still should fit this is uh, actually for the Glock 43 if you can see there it says GL 43 um, on the back it says blade tech carry confident and then uh the made in us right here um you know i i've been wearing this um for about a week i'd say four to eight hours a day um, i have had this on my persons um so you know let me let me get into this here this is this is the gun that i use to carry this glock 43 it's obviously unloaded Take a check Unloaded mag, you can see there. Yeah, and just for shits and giggles, go ahead and insert it in the holster. You can hear, you can hear it when it when it clicks. It has a nice click when it clicks in. You can hear it snapping right there. It clicks in, and what it, and you can see from here, it does have still. I have night sights on mine, but you can still see there's a lot of room here if you have um, night sights that have. Um, obviously a higher sight radii or a sight height than the uh, Glock ones that I have. Um, like I said, this is a, a like a molded plastic. Um, it's not it's not it's not like your, your typical Kydex. It doesn't have any kind of padding or anything um, that will go against your skin. Um, I'm not, I wasn't going to do this. I'm actually wearing sweatpants, but you know I will show you here. I'll put this in. Put the clip on there and just kind of show you how it I mean it disappears pretty good you know there's a little bit of printing there obviously but um it's 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 not too bad um I'm not I'm not one of those people that is um I don't I don't necessarily have or I'm not necessarily against a certain carry style and there's a lot of people that say you know I'm not I'm not an appendix guy um, I don't you know I don't want a loaded firearm anywhere near um, my genitals or you know any of my my arteries or anything like that I get it I understand it um, I think that you know that it, it really comes down to to trigger discipline if you you know finger discipline you know keeping when you're drawing your weapon or reholstering your weapon you know that you're not you don't have your finger inside the trigger guard that you keep it outside and then when you're when you're drawing it same thing i mean you shouldn't you shouldn't have any any problems really um carrying appendix um my my um only complaint about carrying appendix is just kind of the comfort thing um you know our legs work a certain way they they move forward when we walk and if you have something kind of sticking here and you're walking it's going to constantly hit into your leg or your pelvis area um and so if you're going to be carrying for a long period of time um, my personal opinion is i wouldn't i wouldn't suggest um appendix just for that reason and also when sitting down uh, you know it, it jabs into you if you're going to be sitting on a long car ride or you do your no you your job is you know 
a delivery driver of some sort um, and, and you're gonna conceal carry or you're allowed to um, I wouldn't really suggest um, a panic carry just for that reason is it's not not as comfortable as if you have something back here at the four o'clock position regardless if you're sitting down it's not really gonna you know it's gonna you know fit with your body and it's not really going to jab you anywhere and then obviously when you stand up too and it's the same thing it's not really going to stick into you so for long periods of time if you're going to carry 8 10 12 hours a day i i would suggest you know carrying at the at the um four o'clock four thirty position um the the as with anything with any kind of carry that you do uh, there's going to be pros and cons um obviously the appendix the appendix carry style holsters are um, they're minimalistic. A lot of the holsters that you get for the four or four thirty position, you know, they they come on platforms that are you know this big um, and with two clips, and th this this gives you the option um, to to be a little more minimalistic. There's not a lot of added material and things around in appendix holsters, so that's that's one of the um, one of the advantages of doing it also another advantage is um t through talking to people or taking classes um defense classes um there's there's always there's always going to be um the option that you can get in a confrontation with someone and then be pushed backwards onto your back and if you have your gun at the 430 position back here it's kind of hard to get to it when there's someone on you and, and pounding you or has a knife and they're trying to stab you. Whereas if you carry in the appendix position and you get knocked on, you can, you know, kind of defend yourself, keep your arm up, and then get to your gun and draw your gun. Um, so there is, there is that advantage. Um, carrying back here, again, not only if you get knocked on your back is it hard to draw your weapon, but... Um, you know, if you're standing there and someone notices your gun printing, um, they can, you know, attempt to lift your shirt up and and draw your weapon from behind you. So um, there's there's give and take with with um, each carrying style. Uh, it just kind of depends on what what is best for you, what you feel more comfortable with. Um, it, it's all it's all personal preference. I don't think there's one that overall is is better than the other it just it just depends on what is best for you um so getting back to this this blade tech holster um it looks like the the clip um i don't know if you can maybe pull it out and replace it or i don't know what the deal is with this but uh it's got pretty good retention on it and as you, and as you can see here it's got a nice um kind of hook there to go around your belt it will go around um inch and a half um, belt and it, it it's it's snug it's not it's not gonna go anywhere it to me it didn't move around anywhere when I when I was carrying it it didn't you know shift to one side or slant on me or anything like that um, it's 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 really it's really lightweight um, the MSRP on this from blade tech is twenty nine ninety nine um, I've seen them for twenty five dollars twenty two dollars so you're looking at you know twenty two to thirty dollars for this now if that fits in your price range would i would i suggest this holster for an appendix holster um absolutely i think you know definitely for you know the 22 to 30 dollar range that uh this is definitely a decent um decent carry option i know there's people out there that you know they they spend four or five six hundred dollars on a gun and there's not a lot of um extra money to you know add a lot of upgrades or to you know go out and buy a 50 to 125 dollar holster i get it i understand it um so it, w with that being said if you know you're one of those people that are like man i just i i can't do more than 30 bucks for a holster um you know i i definitely would would recommend um this this clipped holster i think that definitely for 25 30 bucks um you know Really, you can't beat it. You're not going to find anything out there really in that price range that's going to be any, that better than this, in, in my opinion, with, with design, with um, the ability to draw, um, stuff like that. Also, you can as you can see here, um, the trigger guard is literally entirely encased in there. There's, there's not, you know, any room here. Um, so even if there was, you know, 
something was to happen and you accidentally you know got your finger in here when drawing your reholstering you're not going to be able to get your finger in in there um to to pull the trigger so um that's that's another plus there um i also like um you know that the, this is this is cut you know higher there's a lot of holsters that that look like this but as you can see here this is where it ends on the front it also just ends that way on the back and this this part of of the of your weapon is is rubbing against your body which can you know be pretty painful if you're if you're carrying for eight tw 10 12 hours a day so you know the the high cut there i think is is um is is pretty cool so um would this be my would this be my my first choice for a carry holster no would it be my first choice for an appendix carry holster no but if i was one of those people that was on a budget and you know I could only afford 25, 30 bucks, 35 bucks. This would definitely be an option that that uh, I, I would look into. I, I've I've seen better, but I've I've seen worse. So bang for the buck, 25 bucks, 30 bucks for this holster, um, and, and you're able to you know conceal it pretty well as as I showed you in, in the appendix um, region. It, it I, I don't think you can beat it. So um, that's my my opinion on that. I think. Um, you know, for for its purpose and for its price range, I think Blade Tech um, has has a has a pretty decent pro uh, product there. So uh, that that's my thoughts on that. If uh, you have any questions, if you're if you're one of these people that's you know maybe had your eye on this holster um, for a while, or this is your first time seeing it and you're interested or you're intrigued in it, and there's a, a question that I didn't answer that you have for me, leave it in the comments section below, and, and I will be happy um, to give you. Um, my opinion or or thoughts on on whatever subject it, it is that you know you may have so shout out to blade tech um for the clipped appendix inside the waistman holster for the glock 43 they do make different models so um if you have a, if you have a different model get just get on their their website and um you know they, they should they should be able to take care of you so um with that being said, if if you're one of these companies out there that has a that it has that makes holsters, whether you're a big company or you're a guy that's making them in your garage, or you know you're you're an ammo company, a smaller ammo company, an apparel company, you know whatever whatever it may be in the firearm industry, and you you know you want to see um, your product reviewed, um, you know you can uh, you can contact me at uh, Roshow Tactical at yahoo.com. That's R O W E Show Tactical at yahoo.com. And uh, I will be happy to um, review your product and, and give you a, you know, a good and honest uh, uh, take on, on your product. So, um, again, that's, that's Roshow Tactical at yahoo.com. If you like this video, subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up. I'm curious to hear your comments in the section below. If you have questions, leave them in the section below. And uh, just remember to, to keep shooting because you never know when the fight is going to come to your front door.